Hello everybody and welcome to your 25th uh, Allegro 5 tutorial. Uh, and in this tutorial we're going to be learning about distance collision. Uh, now before, uh, in the last tutorial we learned about bounding box collision that was essentially used uh, for uh, things that could be interacted with in a rectangular area. Uh, but a lot of the, a lot of times uh, that doesn't really work for circular objects. Uh, so uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to do distance-based collision. And this one uh, can be used for any any single type of tutorial, but uh, any t any shape or whatever. But it's it's mainly for for circles. Uh, now what we're going to be using is we're going to be using the Pythagorean theorem. So if we if we for example say we have a okay let's say okay say we have an enemy right here okay we have a player right there we have an enemy right there uh, so if we were to draw a line between them oh uh, we have okay let's see I don't know why the line won't display okay. So we have a line right there, a uh, line right there, linking them, and we'd have our, we join it like that, okay? So the distance between the two boxes would be the hypotenuse. So we have our, our adjacent, our opposite side, our adjacent side, and we'd have our, our hypotenuse. Uh, so in Pythag with Pythagorean theorem, we say in the right triangle, we say that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Okay, so basically we need to find the uh, hypotenuse, which is c squared, and then we'll find out the distance between the two objects, and therefore uh, when we do that, we'll we find out the distance between two objects, and then we'll find out if they're if they have collided based on the distance. So. We're gonna get our collision code from last tutorial, uh, but whenever they collide, we want the same thing to happen, right? Uh, if we look at with the collision, when they collide, we want them, we want the same thing to happen. But the collision, the way we're gonna execute the collision is different, right? So what we're gonna do is, firstly, we're gonna include the C math library. We're gonna use some functions from there. Include C math. Or C math class. Oh, I can't even type. Okay. So to to find uh to to find the the c squared to find c or the hypotenuse, the c is gonna be equal to square root of a squared plus b squared. Okay. Uh. So how do we find that out? Oh, sorry. So how do we find that? Okay. So to uh, so to find uh, the distance or to f uh, to do the Pythagorean theorem, what we're going to do is we're going to say the square root, okay? So we're going to get the square root of a squared plus b squared. So we say the square root of the power, uh, we're going to have to use the power. So we're going to say power of, of the player's exposition and... No, subtract the enemy's exposition to the power of two plus uh, the power of the player's y position. The enemy's y subtract the enemy's y position to two, and that will give us the distance. And we say if the distance is less than, and for this in this case, we're going to put the radius. Uh, so if it's less than we we should have the the enemy's radius and the player's radius so i'll just put p radius and an e radius uh so p radius plus e radius and for uh for the power when you do uh, x subtract e x or whatever to the power of two, it doesn't matter which order you do it. The reason why we do it like this is that it, uh, when we do it to the power of two, it's going to give us a positive value regardless. So it'll give us an absolute value. For example, if x is equal to two and e x is equal uh to negative two, two subtract negative two is equal to four. Four to the power of two is equal to sixteen. 
uh, if we switch this around, we say negative 2 subtract 2 is equal to negative 4. Negative 4 to the power of 2 is equal to positive 16. So it doesn't matter which order you subtract it by, but uh, yeah, we'll get the same value. So this is it's basically saying a squared plus b squared, and then we find uh, and then we find the square root of that, which will give us a value for c, right? And we say that if the distance is less than the radius, um, the added value of the radius between the two circles, uh, then we're going to return true. So that means there is a collision, and if not, then there is not a collision. Okay, and this should, oh yeah, wait, yeah, this should work, uh, I'm not sure, oh, this was spelled wrong, okay, so we got, we got everything down packed, so now it's a, it's a matter of uh, putting in this stuff for the code, uh, so we're, we're going to get rid of this right here, so we're going to just say, oh, we need to add in our primitives, so we need to, do include allegro 5 allegro primitives dot h and we have to uh, put in the add-on ale init primitives add-on okay so we have our add-on set so then all we have to do in our draw command we say ale draw circle oh man okay so the circle so that's going to be x y uh the radius is going to be equal to 10 uh for the color map rgb we'll set the color to red and for the thickness we'll just set this to 2 and for the enemy or the object or whatever you're colliding with we'll set that to 200 200 we we'll set this radius to 20, AL map RGB, and we'll set that to a nice blue color, and we'll set the thickness to two as well. So in our collision code right here, we just have to set, um, we just have to set the radiuses. So the radius for our player is 10, and the radius for the enemy is 20. So then, if we check our collision again, let's test out what we get. So if we move the player towards here, there's a collision, and we can't move uh, anywhere near inside the object. So therefore, that is it for this tutorial. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and bye.